we will be talking about uh, uh, different volume, different ways the file systems are managed in HP Unix. Okay. So, file system management in HP Unix. So I think you have some idea about uh, how it is managed. So give me some idea about what are the three ways the file systems are managed in HP Unix. Maybe it was there as part of the quiz. One of the quiz questions was that, right? What are the three ways HP Unix file systems are managed? Just uh, by, by by regular methods like using physical hard drives, oh, right? By like using a method using physical hard drives. Okay. Then second method is using logical volume manager. And third method is using Veritas file system. These are the three ways. Okay. And Veritas volume manager. Excuse me, sir. Binor is saying that he is trying to connect, but he can't connect. Why? I don't know, sir. That's what he said. Are you connected there, sir? I already connected. Uh, ask him, okay, can you give this number to him? Yeah. I will. Yeah. Ask him to start uh, go to meeting yeah. and then put this ID there. Can you give this ID to him? You have there? Yeah. Two, so six, these six, are the three ways file systems are managed. So tell me which is the best method. Veritas. Of course, Veritas. <laughs> Third party. Okay, when we come to the first method, what do you think about using regular physical drives? No. That's normal. Why, why it's not good? There is lot of Well, there is no, you cannot expand the uh, the volume of the hard drives. We don't use volume there, we say slice. Oh, maybe slice, system. yeah, the partitions, system. yeah. You can, you can yeah. enlarge it with, uh, you have to go through hassle. Yeah, what you, hassle? Hassle means what? Like you have to, you have to do it manually. Yeah. You have to do it manually. Yeah. You have to back what, up manually means you. what? Here you like you if you add a hard drive, you have to yeah. do it manually. If you do, if you, have you do backup, you have to add. Yeah. Yeah. You have to uh, do the backup. You have to add the drive, uh, the hard disk, and then you have to copy back and all those kind of things. You, you cannot do on the on the fly. On, on the fly, no, right? Or when it's no. online, you cannot do anything. What are the things you like to do in the file? the file system? You what are the things you may want to do in you a want file system? You want the size with the, yeah. as the business grows, the Ex capacity. Expand the file system. Yeah, the file system. Then sometimes restrict the size restrict. of the file system, reduce the size of the file system. Maybe sometime I want to create mirror. Yeah. I may want to create stripe. Yeah. I may want to create uh, uh, RAID file. It's true. I have, uh, I bought a hard drive, right? Uh, then I created a slice. Then I created a file system in the slice. Then I mounted the file system in a place and started <coughs> copying files. Started copying data. So one day the data, the, that particular uh, file system is full. Then what are you going to do? You have to back up your file system, find another hard drive or another slice, format that, and copy this back, copy from the backup to that. So at that time, all the users using those file system will be idly, right? If suppose there is a web server, you may be using, losing maybe thousands or maybe hundred thousands or maybe billions. So we don't want that downtime. If I want to expand, okay, within few minutes I should be able to expand. If I want to reduce, I should be able to reduce to save space for others, right? So that's what I want. So. By using regular physical hard drives, I cannot achieve that because they are hard drives, they are solid things. Using solid things, uh, solid uh, units like that, we cannot expand or reduce, right? So what is the solution? We have to use a volume manager, right? So one of the volume manager is logical volume manager, that is from HP, okay? Then we have Veritas volume management, that is from Veritas originally, now from Symantec. Right? <coughs> Semantic bot Veritas. Okay? In these two scenarios, if suppose we have multiple hard drives, the hard drives are, in the usual scenario, they are accessed by users directly. Users are accessing that. 
so they see only what the things what are here in the file system. I can't I can't spread the file system here and here, right? So if this file system is big, it's so getting filled up. Uh, I I cannot I cannot put part of that here sort of thing, right? So that problem is there. I have to buy a bigger hard drive, right? But in the other scenario, volume management scenario, I have the hard drives. I don't access the hard drive directly, but I use a, another logical unit here, a logical device here, or we call it a meta device, right? So I'll go to the meta device, and then I can access all these three hard drives through the meta device. So the meta device is allowing me to access this, right? So if I make changes, I don't make changes here, I make changes here. If I copy file, I copy file here, but that will be appropriately copied in the right place. So that's how it that's how it happens in a volume management. Right? If I add, if I have one terabyte, one terabyte, one terabyte hard drive, what is the size of this? Three, three, terabyte. three terabyte. But here individually it is one, one, one. Okay, all of them are one terabyte. So maximum file system size is one terabyte here. Here it can be three terabytes. Can I have more than one file system created here? Yes. Yes. I can create up to 250 something file, file systems. So a lot of file systems I can create. Right? So I, I first gather the disk and form a group. So this group is called this group where the where the logical device is created, that group is called. Uh, volume group. In the case of Veritas, how do you call that? In the case of Veritas, how do you call that group? This so, group? This group. So in Veritas, we call it this group. But here we call it volume group. Okay? Then hereafter, will I access these devices directly? No. No. I have to access through only the Device. Okay. I don't know, but still he has login problem. Let me talk to him, please. Huh? We don't mind. He's coming from there. Right? Anything? He tried to solve the problem, but he couldn't, uh, he couldn't, right? So what I was telling is, in HP Unix, file systems are managed by three ways. One is using regular methods. Regular method is using physical devices, as it is. Just if I want a file system in a hard drive, I create in a hard drive. So I can't expand right beyond the hard drive size. And if I want to, if I have used a partition or slice in that hard drive uh, for file system, the file system expands, then I have to find another slice which is bigger than that and back up this and copy there. The data may get lost, time get wasted, those type of things can happen, right? Or I can use volume management. In HP Unix, there are two types of volume management. Other one is called logical volume manager or volume management. Other one is Veritas file system and Veritas volume management. In the case of uh, HP, they use Veritas file system and Veritas volume management. Right? So if I use a volume management, uh, if, if I don't use a volume management, the hard drives are like individual hard pieces, individual physical objects. Okay. So people have to access that directly. So we have a device name for the hard drives, dev, dsk, and c0, p3, d0, and so on. So this is the device name. This is what they are going to use to access the device, okay, physical name. c0 means controller 0, target 3, target 3 in SCSI, right, or if even in ID they can use, then d0 is this. First disk, only one disk per target, right? And uh, or I can use the raw device name. This is block device. I can use raw device RDSK C0 T3 D0. So these are the device names. So users are accessing these devices directly. So if I want to use this device, uh, if suppose there is a slice called slice five here, right? Then if I want to use this slice five in this disk. Then I have to make a directory, A, B, C. Then I have to mount uh, dev, DSK, C0, T3, D0, S5 under A, B, C. 
I have to give a complete path here. Then I go to CD ABC, then I copy my files. Right? But before, before I, I mount this on that, I have to format this. To format a slice, so this is a slice now. So I have to format it. I use a command called newFS, and that becomes a file system. Slice will become a file system. Depending on what file system I create, it is that type of file system. Like in Windows, when you buy a new hard drive, you can't use the hard drive directly. You have to first format it. So I format it. Then it becomes a file system. Then I will create a drive pointer. Here I will mount it. Then I go to the mount point, and then I see the contents of that. Okay. One fine day, this file system got full. So I have no nothing I can do. Right? I can maybe reduce the lost and found directory. Sometimes it creates a lost and most of it uh, creates a directory called lost and found. Uh, normally it occupies some close is ten percent. Uh, we we so we can reduce it to three percent, two percent, and so on. Right? If the hard drive is big, it will be less than ten percent by default. Right? So you can reduce it so you get some extra space. Right? But that is for temporary solution, right? But if you want permanent solution, then you back up all the data from here to the tape, right? Then use another slice, which is bigger than this, or another hard drive <coughs> bigger than this, format it, and put it back there, and then again mount, and all do all those things. So it takes time. And also your data can get corrupted. And also users cannot use the system, or customers cannot use the system. So you lose a lot of money, okay? So to solve the problem, we use something called virtual, a virtual device. So here we are using dev DSK, this one. So here we are going to use dev. I will create a volume group called VG00. So that is the volume group. In the case of HVMX, we combine similar hard drives and then form a volume group. And in that volume group only, we are going to create volumes. Okay. So we have a volume group created. Inside the volume, we will create <coughs> logical volumes. <coughs> we will create logical volumes. Okay? So here I have volumes created inside this disk. So I have a volume here, L vol 1. I have another one, L vol 2, L vol 3, like that. I can create, right? My entire hard drive size here is 3 terabytes. And this volume is how much? Say, uh, 1 terabyte. This is 0.5 terabyte. This is also 0.5 terabyte. So how much approximate free space I have now? Two. One. Approximately? One. One, right? Approximately less than one, right? So uh, if suppose this guy get filled up, L wall got filled up. Can he expand? Yeah. Maximum how much he can expand to? Uh, approximately uh, 1.5. Yeah. So he can expand to approximately 1 point terabyte maximum. But he wants more than that. So what is the solution? He I wants 3 terabytes. I want more there. So in that case, I can take another hard drive and I can add to this. Add to this. So now what is the size? 1 plus 1 plus 1 is how much? Very good, right? Four. Right? Any number of hard drive you can yeah. add? You can add a lot of hard drives. Okay. I think about 255. No, don't try. Right? You don't need more than that. No customer do. impact, no, no impact. Yeah. The customer doesn't know that. Right? So this is a volume group. So all the commands involving volume group starts with VG. VG create. VG display. 